Cell membrane is an assemblage of a semi-permeable biomolecular layer of phospholipids, glycolipids, and cholesterol. In most eukaryotes and prokaryotes, they do differ in cell layers. In plants, there are two layers, the internal membrane and the external cell wall that provides double integrity to plants. In most bacteria, there are three layers, the inner cell membrane, the middle cell wall made of peptidoglycans, and the outer capsule that invokes pathogenicity. Homeostasis Being the primary function of the cell membrane, it is defined as the ability to maintain a relatively stable internal state that persists despite changes. It is also defined as the state of equilibrium, where there must be a balance of intracellular state among organelles and extracellular, which pertains to a cell external aqueous environment as both are suspended in a fluid mosaic condition. Functions of the plasma membrane Number one, it serves as a protective barrier. Second, it allows a cell recognition. Third, it contains the cytoplasm. And fourth, it can be a binding site for the enzyme. Plasma membrane is also known as the gatekeeper for it controls what enters and leaves, what gets in and what gets out of the cell. Plasma membrane is an anchor site for filaments of cytoskeleton. And finally, plasma membrane is an interlocking surfaces or junction for the cell to bind. The cell membrane structure. It is consists of a three major macromolecule components, namely the proteins, the lipids, and the carbohydrates. Proteins plays a complex membrane function. It is the major player in a cell transport mechanism. It includes signaling, fluid exchange, and a lot more. Proteins are consist of alpha helix proteins, the integral proteins, the peripheral proteins, and the transport proteins. Carbohydrates. It is a combined macromolecule with either a protein or a lipids to create a complex functional status. Carbohydrates includes glycoproteins, combination of sugar and proteins, glycolipids, combination of sugar and lipids. Lipids. Lipids are primarily consist of cholesterol and phospholipids. It is intended to maintain the integrity of phospholipids by layer and keeps it apart or either close together, especially during a hot weather or even in a cold weather. And lipids may include cholesterol or a phospholipid hydrophobic tail. The fluid mosaic model, fluid as a phospholipid by layer and other structures are suspended in a quail surrounding. Phospholipids and other structures are freely floating, swimming as it changes its position. It is mosaic as it is consists of a number of a many complex structure that makes up a whole lot of things within a cell membrane. The phospholipids. It is a major macromolecules that is consist of 
primarily fats, further made from carbon and hydrogen. Phospholipids has two parts. The hydrophilic polar head, meaning it is negatively charged molecule, water-loving, and internally and externally directed. Second, the hydrophobic nonpolar tail, which is uncharged molecule, and it hates water. The hydrophobic tail is consists of fatty acids and hydrocarbons, which the left tail is saturated and the right tail is an unsaturated. Together, combining the hydrophilic head and the hydrophobic tail, which are both water-loving and water-hating, they create a characteristic called an amphipathic condition. The phospholipids by layer. It is an amphipathic layer of phospholipid with the polar head facing outside, upward or outbound, towards the aqueous external environment of the cell, from which another head is facing inside or inward, inbound facing the cytoplasm and organelles. It further binds two layers of nonpolar tail that is in between them, which by such an arrangement, it creates what we call a semi-permeable membrane. The semi-permeable membrane is a selectively permeable barrier which allow and disallow the entrance and exit of molecules in and out of the cell. It is important in homeostasis and in cellular transport. Once again, you may post the video. Let us assess and check your comprehension. That's all folks. This has been your nurse radiological guru saying thank you for watching and enjoy studying.